Welcome, anime enthusiasts, to another thrilling episode of Anime Lore Unveiled, the YouTube channel where we delve deep into the fascinating worlds of your favorite anime series. Today, we're about to embark on a journey through a universe where danger and intrigue lurk around every corner. A realm where humans must harness extraordinary abilities to combat monstrous threats. But before we dive into this labyrinth of mysteries, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment below and Chidori the like button. Your support helps us to continue unveiling the hidden lore and secrets of the anime world. Are you ready to plunge into the depths of the solo leveling universe? Buckle up. It's going to be a wild ride. Immerse yourself in a world where monsters lurk in dungeons and only the bravest hunters can hope to survive. Welcome to the universe of solo leveling, a realm brimming with danger and countless mysteries. At its heart is a tale of survival and power where humans are awakened with abilities to combat the monstrous threats sprouting from mysterious dungeons. These dungeons, each unique in its own right, are the dwelling places of powerful bosses, creatures that command respect and fear. Their presence is not random. They're woven into the fabric of the narrative, driving the plot forward and posing relentless challenges to our heroes. Each boss, with its unique abilities and lore, adds another layer of intrigue to the solo leveling universe their origins, their powers, their motivations, all these aspects contribute to the rich tapestry of this captivating world. But what do we really know about these formidable foes lurking in the shadows of the dungeons? Monarchs and rulers, two powerful factions that have been at odds since time immemorial. These two groups are the linchpins around which the solo leveling world turns. Let's delve into their lore, their origins, their powers, and the conflict that rages between them. The Monarchs, also known as the Monarchs of Destruction, are beings of immense power, born from the essence of the rulers of the chaotic world. They are the embodiment of destruction, their very existence a testament to the chaotic forces that birthed them. Each Monarch possesses unique abilities and powers, a reflection of the chaotic essence from which they were born. From the Frost Monarch to the Beast Monarch, each one is a force to be reckoned with, a bringer of chaos and destruction. On the other hand, we have the rulers. The rulers are beings of order, the antithesis of the monarchs. They are the guardians of the world, the protectors of the balance between chaos and order. Each ruler possesses unique abilities and powers, a reflection of their role as guardians. From the ruler of light to the ruler of time, each one is a beacon of order and stability in a world teetering on the brink of chaos. The conflict between the monarchs and the rulers is a tale as old as time itself. It's a battle between chaos and order, destruction and preservation. It's a battle that shapes the world of solo leveling, a battle that has consequences that ripple throughout the narrative. This conflict is not a mere backdrop in the solo leveling narrative. It's a crucial element that shapes the story, influencing the actions and decisions of the characters. It's a struggle that has profound implications for the world and its inhabitants. However, as with all things in solo leveling, things are not as they seem. The monarchs and the rulers, though seemingly diametrically opposed, are two sides of the same coin. They are two forces that, despite their conflict, are intrinsically linked, each one a necessary part of the balance of the world. And yet, there is more to this conflict than meets the eye. Behind every dungeon boss, there's a tale waiting to be told. Let's dive into the labyrinthine depths of Solo Leveling's dungeons and uncover the stories and secrets of the formidable bosses that dwell within. These bosses are not merely obstacles to be overcome, but rather, they are intricate characters with their own histories, abilities, and roles to play within the overarching narrative of the series. Take, for instance, the giant boss from the Red Gate incident. The gargantuan creature was not just an intimidating adversary with immense strength. It was a symbol of the unpredictable and perilous nature of the dungeons themselves, its presence signaled a shift in the series, showing us that the dungeons are not just a gauntlet of monsters but a realm where the rules of reality can be bent and broken. Then, we have the boss from the Cheju Island raid, the Ant King. It's not just a terrifying foe with lethal abilities, but a creature that embodies the idea of evolution and adaptation. Born from the queen of a species that adapts and evolves based on what they eat, it was a chilling reminder of the potential horrors that the dungeons can unleash upon the world. Next, let's discuss the boss of the Double Dungeon, the Architect. Unlike the other bosses, the Architect is an entity shrouded in mystery. It possesses godlike powers, 
creating a dungeon within a dungeon and manipulating space and time at will. But more importantly, it's a character that introduced us to the concept of rulers and monarchs, the celestial beings that pull the strings behind the scenes. Its role in the story expanded the scope of solo leveling from dungeon crawls to cosmic conflicts. Each of these bosses represents more than just a challenge for our protagonist, Sung Jin Wu. They are narrative tools that drive the plot forward, reveal hidden aspects of the world and even challenge the beliefs and values of the characters. They are embodiments of the series themes, such as survival in a hostile world, the struggle for power and the blurred line between monsters and humans. And their designs are not just for show. The monstrous forms of these bosses often reflect their nature and abilities. The giant boss's imposing size mirrors its overwhelming physical strength. The Ant King's humanoid appearance signifies its superior intelligence and adaptability. The architect's ethereal form symbolizes its transcendent powers and inscrutable motives. But perhaps the most intriguing aspect of these bosses is their actions and the implications they have. The destruction caused by the giant boss led to the formation of the S-Rank Hunters. The Ant King's rampage forced nations to reevaluate their strategies against dungeon threats. The architect's revelations shook the foundation of Jin Wu's understanding of the world. These dungeon bosses are not just adversaries, they are key pieces in the grand chessboard of solo leveling. But what happens when a dungeon boss steps into the limelight? It's not just about the thrill of the fight or the looming threat of danger. These encounters serve as pivotal moments in the solo leveling narrative pushing the story forward while simultaneously offering deeper insights into our characters. For instance, let's delve into the clash between Sung Jin Wu and the Ice Elf, Baruka. This wasn't just a battle of strength and wits. It was a turning point for Sung, a moment of revelation, where he truly grasped the magnitude of his power and the responsibility that came with it. The encounter with Baruka was a catalyst for Sung's metamorphosis into a more strategic and thoughtful leader. Then there's the showdown with Vulcan in the Demon Castle. This epic encounter was more than a test of endurance for our protagonist. It was a mirror reflecting Sung's growth and determination. Vulcan, a boss with immense power and ferocity, challenged Sung to his very limits. Yet in overcoming this challenge, Sung emerged stronger, his resolve hardened, and his spirit unyielding. And who can forget the chilling encounter with Midas, the Plague Monarch? This was not just a battle against a formidable foe, but also a struggle against fear and despair. Midas, with his terrifying plague magic, represented a tangible manifestation of the horrors within the dungeons. Facing him, Sung was forced to confront the grim reality of the world he was now part of. These encounters are not isolated events. They are intricately woven into the fabric of the story, influencing the narrative and shaping the characters. They reveal vulnerabilities, highlight strengths, and expose the true nature of our heroes. Each boss battle is a step on the journey of self-discovery and growth for our protagonist. As you can see, every encounter holds the potential to change the course of our hero's journey. In the solo leveling universe, the future is always shrouded in mystery. But isn't that part of the allure? The thrill of the unknown, the anticipation of what's to come, is what keeps us on the edge of our seats. Just as our heroes continue to evolve, so too do the formidable dungeon bosses. Each one we've encountered so far has been a unique challenge, a puzzle to be solved, and a stepping stone on the path to greater power. But what does the future hold for these enigmatic adversaries? We've seen dungeon bosses that range from monstrous beasts to spectral apparitions, from ancient warriors to enigmatic sorcerers, each one a formidable test of our hero's mettle. Yet it's clear that we've only just begun to scratch the surface of what lies in wait within the solo leveling universe's darkest corners. There's a sense of an ever-evolving narrative, an intricate tapestry being woven with each new chapter. The role of the dungeon bosses in this narrative remains as unpredictable as it is crucial. Will they continue to be obstacles to overcome? Or could they become unexpected allies? Might they hold the keys to even greater powers or perhaps the secrets to defeating the ultimate evil? As we venture forward, we can only speculate. But rest assured, the journey promises to be filled with more thrilling battles, more epic confrontations, and more mind-boggling revelations. And as the stakes continue to rise, so too will the power and complexity of the dungeon bosses. It's a tantalizing future, filled with endless possibilities. 
one where the line between friend and foe may blur, where the true nature of power may be redefined, and where the mysteries of the solo leveling universe will continue to unfold in ways we can only begin to imagine. So, are you ready to delve deeper into the mysteries of the solo leveling universe? Because the journey is far from over. Before we venture further into the unknown depths of the solo leveling universe, we need to remember that every journey is better when shared. This journey is no different. We are a community, a collective of adventurers, all fascinated by the rich lore and intricate narratives of the solo leveling universe. And just like our heroes, we are stronger together. So, let's make this journey together. If you haven't done it yet, subscribe to the Anime Lore Unveiled channel. Join our band of adventurers as we delve deeper into the mysteries of the solo leveling universe. Leave a comment below, share your thoughts, your theories, your hopes and fears for the future. What do you think lies in store for our heroes? What enigmatic dungeon boss are you most excited to see them confront? And remember, every journey is fraught with challenges, but also filled with victories. So let's celebrate those victories together. Jidori, the like button, and let's show the world that we are ready to face whatever the solo leveling universe has in store for us. Stay tuned, adventurers. The journey is far from over, and the best is yet to come.